Today we're going to talk about my new water bottle, but a bit of a preamble to that. <clears throat> this water bottle here uh, is a uh, plastic double-walled bottle that I reviewed on this channel. It's from Walmart, and I can't remember the actual proper name of it. And it the, the, light, the, the writing on this is so tiny, I had to use a magnifying glass when I read it. So it, it, you can find it on my channel under my uh, gear, gear reviews. Um, and I liked this a lot when I got it initially. And uh, it's a solid design in that it double walled, so it keeps your uh, uh, water cold, um, with, keeps your ice uh, from melting for a fairly long time. Has a decent design. I like the angle on that, I like the size of this. You can carry it like that. Uh, however, it is made out of hard plastic, and therein was the uh, issue as time went on. So the first time I dropped it, I uh, broke the crap out of my little thumb thingy here, you know, moving this back and forth. That's an easy fix, you know. Literally, you know, take the file on my multi-tool, a little bit of emery paper, we're good to go. Unfortunately, uh, not long after that, I dropped it a second time, and I took a big chunk out of the lip right there. So there's a there's actual actual piece of the lip missing on that one um, and that meant that the lid no longer closes properly and in fact when it's full of liquid I can no longer do this because the, the weight of the liquid actually caused it to pop off and land on the floor I found that out the hard way um, so that was a cup that was a problem but I kept using it because I liked the overall design but then one day I noticed that there was some moisture between the two walls and that means the seals busted and so I'm like okay Time to get a new water bottle. So, but that did show me that I like the idea of a double walled model. But I'm like, okay, well, if I get a double walled model, let's go bigger, go home. Oop -a -doo. And there, here we have this. And this is from Send, Send, I don't know if it's Sendestar or Sendester. I apologize. I don't know actually how to pronounce that. And that is their little logo, little flame is their logo. Um, and I have uh, decorated this with a dodecahedron uh, sticker on this side, because that's my favorite photonic solid, and an F-bomb. There's no confusing this water bottle with anybody else's water bottle at my company. Uh, not to mention it is a brilliant violet, which is another one of the reasons I did purchase it. I like the color. So I did a search on Amazon for double-walled, stainless steel double-walled uh, water bottles. This is in the 32-ounce uh, size. They also have 40-ounce size. And it came with two tops. It came with a top that actually has a screw top, so it's a standard, you know, they screw it on, screw it off, it flaps so it doesn't, you don't lose the top. Um, and I don't like those for work. We're, not, we're actually supposed to be using this style of top that's spill-proof, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, and uh, at home, I use Nalgene bottles like this, uh, but I just freeze them in the freezer so that this big chunk of ice, uh, which is great, but it sweats. And you can see right now it sweats. But I don't care if it sweats at home. I have coasters and crap at home. It's fine. I can't have a bottle like that sweating at work um, because uh, you get water on my in my table, and that would be a big no-no. Uh, not to mention, that takes two hands to use. I pick it up, I then screw it. Whereas a bottle like this, which I can just have like this, I can pick it up with one hand and use it, which is a big bonus. Um, particularly seeing a lot of the times I'm, I'm wearing gloves when I'm doing this and having to use two hands with gloves is kind of cumbersome because this is a pretty big chunky bottle. It's about, the, it's almost the same diameter as, as an algae bottle. It's a little bit narrower, but not by much. Um, this is a uh, powder coated style covering, so it's fairly, it seems to be fairly durable. Um, and it gives it a, a little bit of a tooth. It's not, you know, it's not smooth metal, but it gives it a little bit of tooth, more than a plastic uh, bottle does. Um, this one does how or have had a finger grooves and that did make it quite comfortable and seeing it's tapered it, it made it a little bit easier to grab her when you're on lower down this is a uh, cylinder of the same diameter from top to bottom um, but uh, I find it difficult to actually grab it this way because of my thumbs but that's why I'm wearing this brace it's not just because of aesthetics because uh, I have bad thumbs on both hands thanks to repetitive motion from working in a factory so when I'm filling it up and stuff I tend to just hold it like this that way it can't go anywhere I fill it up and we're good to go. And when I'm carrying, when I'm walking, I do, you know, I'm carrying it like this. So again, not a problem. Um, this is an excellent design when it comes to a top that has a foldable spill-proof nipple, or, or, or I guess I don't know what it's called, spout. But it's 
almost completely covered. The only thing sticking up from this is this little thing here. And you were, if you're going to, and, and to hurt that, you'd have to almost directly drop it like this. So if it lands anywhere else, that is not going to be injured. So this is a great design. Also, it is in fact absolutely spillproof. And even better, when it's on my table, it's got water in it, I roll it, nothing, not a drop is coming out of this thing. Okay, I tested it multiple times to make sure that that was true, both when it was full of water and when it was partially full of water, making sure, you know, the air, maybe how much air was in the bottle may have an effect on that. It didn't. Go ahead and roll. Now, speaking of air, that little white thing in there is the air hole that lets air get into the device while you're drawing water out of it. Now, here is a little peg. And that peg fits in that hole, absolutely sealed. Okay? Excellent design. Um, this is not hard, so in the event that you have like placed this on the side you don't want, you can actually move it while it's uh, it, it did a little bit, just enough stretch to fit over that, over the spout. Not an issue. It's also quite comfortable carrying. I can carry it with two fingers or three fingers quite comfortably. Um, getting this on and off is easy because you've got these two pegs. You just kind of push in either direction, so you're twisting it is not an issue. Now, you may have heard when I turn this upside down a sound. I put that ice in here 20 hours ago. I have not kept this in a refrigerator. It's been sitting either at my desk or here on the floor of my office, my, my inspection table or here at the near my office. So I have not refrigerated this in, these, in, in the least. There's still water, there's still ice and water in this after 20 hours. So I haven't quite read a 24 hour test. But I was impressed the first day I left work, I leave work, you know, you come back to work 16 hours later, I work, you know, standard one shift a day kind of thing, um, and open the thing up and put more ice in it, because at the beginning of my shift, so I do, I fill it up with ice. And there's like this much ice in the bottom. Now, when I would leave work, there would be this much ice in the bottom of this bottle. But when I come in the next day, it would be water. I didn't think of anything of it. It's, you know, it's... This one, I leave this much ice in the bottom of it. And this almost exactly the same when I left in there when I come back then 16 hours later. This is impressive. Really impressive. I'm also using less ice while I'm at work. I would fill this up and I fill this up at the beginning of the shift. I putz around in the, in the cab for a half an hour, usually before work, reading, trying to get my head in the right place. And uh, and then I like fill it up at my first break to make sure it's not going to, you know, so I have a little, it, some's, some's melted initially. Um, and then that's all I have to fill it for the rest of the day. I don't have to put any more ice in this. I just kept fill it up whenever I need water. And it keeps my water ice cold, literally ice cold all day long. And keeps the ice viable. I got to tell you, this, this is an awesome product. I, I did no research on the company. Send Death Star or whatever, how you, how you ever say it. I did no research on it. I just looked for a bottle of the size and some of the features I wanted and the color. And I like, it was 22 bucks, 22 bucks on Amazon. So I thought for 22 bucks, the reviews seemed to be pretty solid. I always check the reviews, just to be on the safe side. Um, and I'm like, for 22 bucks? Okay, I'll take a gamble. It comes with two lids. Um, it comes with, and this is, it's got the standard straw kind of thing on there. Um, and uh, this comes with two straws and a brush. So you can swap them out and clean the inside, as well as another top that has the screw top, where we're very similar to how a Nalgene bottle works. Um, and that's just in a drawer, because I'm not going to use it ever, probably. Um, but there, there was also a third top. I can't remember. I think it might be more of the coffee style. You know, slides back and forth so you can drink it on the go. Uh, I can't remember for sure. I didn't pick that up, because the two tops I needed, the, the, the base one with the screw top, and then this one, that was all I was just interested in. Um, but it, the, and the other design might be something that you're interested in as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely awesome. And also, I happen to really like the logo. I think it's kind of cool. Um, and I, uh, I have to know, I do not have to worry about anybody thinking that's their, this is their bottle. <laughs> with my stickers and the color and the design, I'm the only one in the building with this particular uh, design. Now, I do, I will admit, the angle on this and the spout shape is, I think, a little more com more comfortable than this one. Um, interestingly, 
that it's a rectangle, okay? And the top of this is the same, roughly the same size as the rectangle, but it, it actually necks in slightly. And then the actual, the section which is hollow is a little bit narrower. And I think they did that so that when you drink, the excess water goes back in as opposed to crowning and dribbling out, which I think is designed specifically. I'm not positive on that. I don't under, I don't have a degree that would tell me what is the best hydrodynamics for water dripping. Um, but I think that's why they did that. Um, the, one of the few things I did like about this is that you let you tell you best at a glance how much liquid you have left. This one I have to get with a little bit of a shake. Um, and I will admit I did enjoy looking at the melting ice aesthetically. I just find it pleasing. You can't do that with this. But I do get to look at my dodecahedron uh, sticker all day long, and I happen to really love that sticker. Um, so that's fine. So it's sitting on my table. That's what's facing me because uh, I tend to drink this uh, I'm going to keep it on the left side and drink it like this when I'm, I'm drinking. As again, because this is a large diameter, I find that I, I drink this, hold it this way because this is more comfortable than this way because it's a smaller diameter. And with the peg here, you know, it gives me a certain degree of security. Not that I'm really lifting it all that far. It's just leaning, leaning over table. So if I dropped it, it would drop that far or so. Um, but yeah, I haven't dropped it. It's uh, It still looks as, just as good as, the, uh, as, as when I bought it. I've only had it for a week. Um, I'm sure eventually I will drop it and it's going to get dented and that's okay. As long as the seal isn't busted, I don't care if it ends up with some dents. That's just the way it is. Um, let's face it. I've got a few dents myself and I keep chugging along. Um, so yeah, absolutely awesome design. We get, we get the logo in there. Um, I love this thing. This is, this is, well, you know what? I should probably put it on this side because there's no shadow on my face. Um, I love this thing. It's a great design. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a stainless steel double wall bottle and you want to don't know if you are like going to like that kind of design, get one of these things because for 22 bucks you can't go wrong. Uh, that 40 ounces is going to be a little bit more expensive, uh, but I didn't need something that big. 32 is 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 is, is more than the one I got, I was replacing it with because this is uh, it's not quite the same size and diameter on the inside. Um, so I got more water, you know, for the same foot footprint which is also a big bonus. So go get yourself one of these things if you're in the market. It comes in a number of different colors. Obviously, this wonderful uh, violet is highly recommended by me because it's my favorite color. Um, but I am thoroughly, thoroughly pleased with this. Now, sadly, I have to go throw away my other one because it's broken. No one's ever going to use it. And I always hate getting rid of good equipment, but it has no purpose now. So it's time for it to go. This one, however, will probably serve me well for years to come.